Hello again, welcome to another uh, opportunity to reflect on the Psalms. Uh, we're up to Psalm 114. It's quite a short psalm, so let me read the whole thing to you. When Israel came out of Egypt, Jacob from a people of foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains leaped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it, sea, that you fled? Why, Jordan, did you turn back? Why, mountains, did you leap like rams, you hills like lambs? Tremble, earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, the hard rock into springs of water. Psalm 114 is a psalm of Exodus, but rather than the exodus of people coming at, out of uh, Egypt and towards God's promised land, this is a, a kind of picture of the exodus of the earth. One of the other Psalms tells us the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. And here, uh, Psalm 114 kind of picks up that idea of the, the earth, the physical creation of the earth belonging to the Lord and responding to the Lord uh, in as he approaches and ha as his majesty is um, broadcast. It, it's quite a strange psalm. It's, uh, I guess, not a psalm that you often hear preached on. I'm, I'm not sure I've ever heard or indeed attempted to preach uh, on it, but it's quite poetic. It's quite interesting uh, to think of how the created order responds to God's majesty. And we do well to remember that. We do well to remember that uh, creation is not just about us. We're very arrogant if we think that, but creation is about everything that we enjoy all around us, the mountains, the hills, the rivers, the nations. Creation, all of creation, falls under God's supremacy and God's majesty, and all of creation will one day bow down again at the name of Jesus. So that's something we can rejoice in, something we can celebrate, something we can anticipate perhaps. I don't know whether we'll be able to see when all this happens uh, but it's quite an imaginative, or it's quite a, a, a boost to the imagination to try and uh, see what that would look like. Let's remember, though, God is good. God is majestic. God is supreme over us, over all that he has created. And let's celebrate that fact. And let's pray to say thank you right now. Father, thank you for your creation. Thank you for the magnificence of all that we enjoy in creation. Thank you for all that we're able to see and indeed not see that you have made, that you have moulded. And thank you for this beautiful image of all of it responding to you and your majesty. Help us, Lord, to do exactly that, to respond aright to your magnificence and your majesty and to bring glory and honour to your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to spending uh, yet more time with you over the next few days. Bless you.